Hey guys, Dave the Watchman here coming at you with another watch review video and today I've got something a little bit different. I do have a watch in my collection that is an homage watch to a very, very, very high-end luxury brand. Um, and I have purchased another version of that watch and I just wanted to show you guys both of them side by side so you know what you'll get for your money if you do decide to purchase either one of them. So, should you do it? So, before I get started, I just wanted to shout out to my current subscribers and say thank you all so much. I really do appreciate everything. All your interaction with the channel helps out. Um, the liking, um, commenting, um, all the interaction, sharing these videos. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys, and I couldn't thank you more. If you are new to this channel, I am Dave the Watchman. I review budget-friendly watches for the everyman because I don't believe that you should have to spend a fortune to look like you have a fortune. And if you do like that concept, I would appreciate you hitting that subscribe button, especially if you want to see more watches and watch review videos because that's what I do here at Dave the Watchman, so thumbs up is definitely appreciated. And if you do like men's fashion and you want to check out my shoe review channel, that is Dave the Shoe Man on YouTube, you can jump on over to Dave the Shoe Man and check out some of those videos and maybe even become a subscriber of both channels. I would definitely appreciate that very much. And as always, I will be posting links to the watches I do review in this video so that you guys can head on over and pick these watches up and wear them for yourself. Uh, they are not... These are not sponsored links, but they are affiliate links, and uh, the price doesn't cost you anything more if you click on them. The only difference is I get a small commission out of the sale if you do decide to purchase one of the watches, and that is very much appreciated. So without further ado, let's get in and take a look at this watch and see if you guys should do it. Uh, so like I said before, it's going to be a an homage watch that is of a much, much higher end luxury brand. A really, really expensive watch that goes for upwards of millions of dollars. I will not be mentioning the name of that watch, but if you know, then you know. So anyway, the watch I am talking about is this beautiful, beautiful turquoise blue watch. Um, I did pick this watch up. It's from one of my favorite watchmakers, Pagani Design. Uh, as you know, I am a huge Pagani Design fan, even though... I am not sponsored by Pagani Design in any way. I really do love their watches, and I think you get really, really good value for the money. Now, the thing I do love about this watch is it is my favorite color. As you can see in my collection, I do have several watches that are of this same color, um, and I really, really do like this color. It's one of my favorite colors. But this particular watch that I'm going to review is going to be uh, of this model, uh, along the, the same styling lines and it's by a company called Liege and they are the maker of this watch here which is one of my favorite watches once again I really am a big fan of this turquoise color and I have many watches in my collection of that color so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over this watch and then I'm going to go over the watch that's in this box side by side so you guys can see whether or not it's worth it. Now, this watch is actually the Pagani Design PD1728. It is a beautiful watch, very well built, stainless steel construct construction on a 40, 40 millimeter case. Um, it is a wonderfully designed watch with a beautiful, beautiful dial. Um, this watch is automatic, self-winding with a sapphire crystal. Very, very nice watch. Um, this watch has the Pagani Design logo on it. It does have the Pagani Design logo on the winding crown. Um, and it is just a wonderfully built watch with a beautiful bracelet, milled clasp on, like I said, the stainless steel 40 millimeter case. Um, this watch has four stars on Amazon with most of the people just saying that it just plain looks great. It, it really does look great. It's got 30 hours power reserve, stainless steel. It's the Pagani Design uh, PD 1728 automatic self-winding. It's available in this color as well as green, blue, uh, I'm sorry, green, black, and white. Um, this watch is available for an amazing price of $100 right now, $100 on Amazon, and there is a 5% coupon if you want to head on over and pick it up. Um, but this watch is a great watch, um, and like I said, I picked up, and I really did this out of curiosity, but I picked up a cheaper model. Um, this is by Liege, which they have a 
uh, I guess it's a subsidiary company called Bangwei, B-A-N-G-W-E-I. And I ordered this watch on AliExpress, and it's a lot cheaper than this one, but you don't get the same specs. So basically what I wanted to do is take them out and kind of compare them, you know, side by side, um, just to see if you should actually do it. Um, so I have, I have opened this up and I have taken a look at it already. Uh, so this is not a true unboxing of this watch, um, but it is, let's see if we can get them set to the same time here, uh, right there, okay, so guys, this is what they look like side by side. Um, I did notice with the Bang Wei or the Liege watch that it, it is a little bit larger, so it does have a little bit of a larger case. Um, this is the B, the Bang Wei by Liege BW8803. Um, I did notice also that it has a date format on the dial as well, but this is a quartz watch. It's not an automatic, it's a quartz watch with a mineral crystal as opposed to the, um, the self-winding automatic with the uh, sapphire crystal that you get with this one. But the price difference is considerable. Now, as far as weight's concerned, this one's obviously got a little bit more weight to it. The band feels a little bit tighter. It's just a much better quality watch all around. But guys, in all reality, even though this is a quartz watch, and it is, um, it's a mineral crystal, which is not as much spec for the money. Honestly, I really think it looks a lot nicer. I mean, maybe it's just me, but I just think that shimmer on the dial really, really sets it apart from this one right here. Even though it's wonderful, they're both wonderful watches in their own right. Um, this one's a little larger, like I said. Looks like it's probably about 42 or 44 millimeter instead of the 40 that this one is. But once again, it's a quartz watch, mineral crystal. It's a lot lighter, but your price range on this thing is somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 bucks. So you're talking about a 100, roughly $100 watch or a $15 watch. Um, but guys, like I said, we all like what we like, and sometimes what we like isn't doesn't make sense. Um, at least for me, anyway. Sometimes I like things that just don't make sense. And honestly, even though, like I said, this is the this is the uh, Pagani design watch, and it does have the milled clasp, milled butterfly clasp, as opposed to the stamped pressed um, stainless clasp. But I don't know. I just, for me personally. I think I like the way this one looks a little bit better, even though it is a little more rough around the edges. This one's a lot smoother, um, but we all like what we like. Um, I will be posting a link to both of these in the description below, so you guys can head on over and pick these guys up for yourself. Um, let me know what you guys think of these watches, uh, whether you like the Pagani design or you like the Liege Bong Wei. Um, what's your opinion on how they look? I did notice also that the the um, Pagani design has a tapered bracelet, where the um, the Bang Wei is a little less tapered, which seems almost more uniform, but it is slightly tapered. This is a, a almost extremely uh, tapered when uh, in comparison to the um, to the Liege. But either way, they're both very very nice homage watches to the original. I would not. Um, I would not hesitate to buy either one. Obviously, I bought both. Um, so, but I, I really do think that that the, the shimmer on the dial on the um, on the Liege watch really does set it apart. Like I said before. But any at any rate, great watches for the for the Pagani design. You get a ton of spec for the price. I mean, you're talking like I said, somewhere in the neighborhood of a hundred bucks with a five dollar off coupon right now. You're getting a fully automatic mechanical winding watch with the 316L stainless steel. Um, you get many different colors to choose from. You're getting a sapphire crystal, 100 meters of water resistance, 30 hours of power reserve on a 40 millimeter case with a very, very, very solid bracelet on this thing with the milled clasp. Very, very nice watch for under a hundred bucks. You cannot go wrong with that. And if you guys do decide to head on over to AliExpress, 
you can pick this guy up for under 15 bucks right now not sure how long either one of these prices will last so if you want to jump on if you want one of these watches i would definitely jump on that right away um this one is under 15 dollars on aliexpress you don't get as many bells and whistles for the under $15 price, but you do get the quartz movement and the stainless steel and the mineral crystal um, and a very tight bracelet, and it really does look beautiful. The dial does look really, really nice on this watch. So they're both good in their own right. It just depends on how much money you want to spend and what you like better. So let me know what you guys think. In the comment section below i will respond to comments and i do appreciate you guys taking the time to check out this video and like i said before if you're looking for one of these watches i will post the links in the description below once again i am dave the watchman i review budget friendly watches for the everyman because i don't believe that you should have to spend a fortune to look like you have a fortune and if you do like that concept i would appreciate that thumbs up liking and taking the time to hit that subscribe button especially if you want to see more watches and watch review videos because that's what i do here on youtube and like I said before, if you are interested in men's fashion and you want to check out my shoe channel, that's at Dave the Shoe Man on YouTube. And I do review budget friendly shoes for the everyman. So until next time, I will see you guys all in the next watch review video. Unless you're over on the other side, then I will see you guys all in the next shoe review video. Thank you guys all so much, and I hope you all have a great weekend.